Immediately after the pulmonologist told me that I had lung cancer, um, I stopped listening. Uh, I looked away and I stared at the blank wall and thought about my childhood and I thought about everything I'd been through in my life up until that point. And I thought about all of the things that I had worked for and the future that I had planned for. And it all went away. I had been experiencing some cold-like symptoms for a couple weeks and uh, I had stopped smoking five years before my diagnosis and it seems like every winter I would uh, end up with walking pneumonia and actually that's what I thought I had so I went to the doctor and he said Sandy your lungs are clear and I said to him I said doc something's not right because you know I've got this pain and this cough that won't go away Nikki never thought about lung cancer before the diagnosis. <laughs> and I was standing behind the doctor when he was typing in his laptop, and I heard I saw him type in lung cancer, and that was that was the first um, moment where I thought, "Wow, this is this is something really serious." I I can do this. I can fight this. I I'm not ready to go. That was my thought. I'm not ready to go. A lot of people think that you deserve it if you smoke, so you don't say it a lot. You know, you just say you had cancer, but you don't, because they do have the attitude that you deserve it. I have a friend who has it, and she's never smoked a day in her life. Uh, since I was diagnosed, I've known seven people that have died with lung cancer, and some smoked and some did not. So yes, there is a stigma. Before lung force, we didn't have a lot of support for lung cancer. And now lung force is spreading the word that anyone can get lung cancer and telling people that they need to get screened and that screening is the best way to achieve remission. And funding research that is helping people like me to survive. You don't have to be a certain age that anyone can get lung cancer. And so I think it brings a lot of awareness because I don't think people know that um, it's the number one cancer killer in men and women. More and more cases are being diagnosed of people who've never smoked in their life. And I think that there needs to be a bigger awareness. Lung cancer is the least funded and it needs a lot of money because they haven't gotten very far with lung cancer over the years. In a room of 100 people, about six will get diagnosed with lung cancer. Five people will die from it. Anyone. 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 Anyone can get lung cancer. About two-thirds of lung cancer diagnoses are in non-smokers or former smokers. We need to keep fighting. I have lung cancer. But lung cancer doesn't have me. Together, we can win the fight against lung cancer.